Hey, so what do you do if you take too much psilocybin and you have a bad trip or you feel very uncomfortable or just something's really weird? I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do right now. Hey there, Dr. Dave back at you. I wanna make sure you understand that um, none of the advice I give here is professional medical advice. It's my experience, my story, what I've been doing, and microdosing of psilocybin magic mushrooms has been, it, it totally has changed my life, turned my life around. Somebody that even a very short time ago had a lot of um, anxiety, uh, depression, um, I'm going to say PTSD because uh, even though I was never a military person, um, I had PTSD from a really, really bad experience in my, in my previous marriage. Um, it was rough. Um, so microdosing has absolutely turned my life around. There's basically no anxiety. I say no depression. I feel really, really good every day. And that's why I've been doing these videos because so many of you have been thanking me and telling me that you were kind of in the same situation and you, you've been looking for something to help you. Talk therapy hasn't really helped the way you wanted it to. Um, pharmaceuticals haven't really helped you. You don't want to be taking pharmaceuticals for long term. So um, I'm just getting this out there about what, what I've been through and how microdosing magic mushrooms has really really, really improved my life like, astronomically. Now, um, I, my experience really is in microdosing, and I don't have much experience macrodosing. Um, well, as I'm recording this right now, the most I've ever done at one time has been uh, 1.5 grams of um, dried mushrooms, and that's, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a decent amount, but it's not, a, it's not really a heavy dose at all, and um, I've had very, very good success with that. But if you ever should get into a situation where you have taken too much or you feel like you're on a bad trip or very, very uncomfortable to the point where you need to get out of this, um, here's, my, here's my suggestion. Now, I have not had to do this, but I've read a lot about this and supposedly it's very, very effective. First of all, if you're taking a larger dose, I would always recommend that you be with somebody, somebody accompany you, a trip sitter, somebody that can just sit in the same house at least, and if anything goes bad, they can be there to reassure you and walk you through it. But if you ever need to get out of a trip, taking a benzodiazepine, benzodiazepine is the way to go. So if you have Valium, uh, if you, you need about a, anywhere from about a five milligram to a 10 milligram Valium tablet, if you have Xanax somewhere around, somewhere roughly around half a gram of Xanax, a diazepam will supposedly, again, I don't have personal experience with this, will supposedly um, within a very, very short amount of time get you out of a trip. So it's called a trip killer and only use it if really, really necessary. Otherwise, just try to ride it out and, and learn from a bad trip because as I've read and heard and spoken to people, there's really no such thing as a bad trip. It's the medicine trying to teach you something. And even though it might be ugly and scary, it's trying to teach you something. So learn from it, be uncomfortable, be okay being uncomfortable, realize that it's only medicine and it's going to wear off eventually. And the best thing to do is ride it out and discover some of your bad things and demons that are coming out and there's a reason why they are. But again, if you need to cut it off, if you have an emergency, um, benzodiazepine, Valium or um, Xanax or, or equivalent, equivalent. Um, hope this helps and I will be back with more. And thank you so much for all of your questions and comments. I really, really appreciate you. Love you. I'm Dr. Dave.